Hi, I'm Dirk Van Babel, orthopedic surgeon from the Melbourne Hip and Knee Group. I also work as striker in the teaching and training of Mako Robotic Surgery. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Mako robot to implant a cemented acetabular component. Preoperative planning is carried out as if an uncemented acetabular component was being used. Acetabular bone registration and reaming is carried out as per a normal trident cup. As part of the surgical technique, many surgeons like to put lug holes in all three bones of the pelvis to help cement fixation. If the screen is switched to CT ream view, the blue probe can then be used to identify both the ilium and the ischium on the screen to help with the location of the lug holes. Once you've prepared the bone, grab one of the trident window trials, one to two millimeters smaller than the last reamer you've used, and insert that onto the impaction handle. This then gets inserted into the acetabulum and pushed into place, and you need to take a recording of the acetabular component in a reduced position. Following this, the cup is cemented with your normal surgical technique. And with the acetabular component in place, but before the cement sets, run the blue probe around the rim of the acetabular component, taking five points of registration, and this will give you feedback into the acetabular inclination and aversion. You're then able to use a Howarth or a Bristow to change the position of the acetabular component and recheck it before the cement sets, and thus replicate the original surgical plan. And that's my off-label use of the Mako robot for cemented acetabular components. Thank you.